Good day, welcome to Gamers Everything. We have a Cisco antenna, and this is model. I want to read it so I can get it right. And so you can see it here. It is a dual band antenna, and the model is Air and T2544V4M-R. And of course, it has four antenna leads, and this fellow has somehow failed because it was replaced and it then started working. So we're fairly certain that this failed. Well, we believe it failed. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. Is we're going to take this fellow apart and kind of see it's a big, like a little dome one. So basically what you do when you mount it outside, it's like this. Inside you can have it down, up. But you can kind of see one of the failure points here, uh, or potential failure points. A lot of uh, air holes or little vents and things like that. So uh, waterproof, I'm going to guess this is probably not super waterproof. Looks like it's got maybe like a gland that the leads go into, but you see a big hole, hole, hole. So I think that is just to let moisture out and pretty much many, many antennas I've seen that have failed. Uh, water ingress, water gets in everything. It doesn't matter what you put it in or how tight it is. Water somehow will find a way in. And since this is just kind of plastic, I'm kind of, also I'm kind of curious what the antenna shape is. I'm assuming it's something in here, maybe a circuit board. So let's grab a screwdriver, a screwdriver and open it up and take a look. So I'm kind of curious what's in here. I've seen uh, some very strange behavior with antennas. I had one, it was on a building, and things are always fine. Things are great, things are fine. But it seems like whenever a huge temperature changes, you know, when it get like, uh, especially like in the spring or fall, or maybe sometimes in the summer where it's like, you know, it gets down a little cooler in the, in the evening or at night, and then it warms up uh, early in the morning, antenna or the, the the wireless signal will be absolutely horrific and then as the sun came out hit it for a while it would tend to come back which was kind of odd and you look at it it was all sealed with just a stick antenna nothing fancy and when we took the antenna off somehow it weighed like 5,000 pounds and cracked it open and there was no cracks or anything it was full of water absolutely full of water so this fellow I'm kind of Oh, look at that. You can see it's just a little plastic housing and there's no O-rings or anything like that. So anything that gets in here, as you can see, it's got quite a lot of dirt. This is in a dirty environment. You can kind of see it's got some staining on it. And, oh, you can see the four leads. You got two of the leads go up to these two antennas, which go up to these little side little wings. And then it looks like the other two go to this bottom one. And same thing with these little soldered on wings. Looks like all the solder joints look pretty good. You see all the nice flux on there. Very nice of them not to clean that up. For a very, very expensive antenna. But you can see here we have quite a lot of gritty dirt. And I would suspect from where this came, it's probably like a little metallic -y dirt. So it's probably messing up these little antennas. Here potentially. Not much there really, other than the little leads going off to the wings. So I'm not sure. I don't see any broken solder joints. These are nice and well done. These also are well. Well, okay. Maybe what we'll do is we'll grab the multimeter. We're going to test these leads first to see if there's a break in the lead. Because potentially that could happen. Um, but my guess is either this dirt has affected its ability to send and receive, because it is quite dirty. And this side's nice and clean. So it could be, well you can see there's a hole here, big hole here, so that may, maybe the dirt's really blown in here on that side. This might even be a good case where uh, you could caulk or you know, silicone up these holes just to keep any kind of dirt coming in. I'm sure they're here just to drain out water, but if you got them sealed, of course then also there's nothing here sealing it, so water would potentially get in there. I'll tell you what, let's let's test this with the multimeter. Let me grab the multimeter. Okay, got Mr. Multimeter, got a little pointy black lead. So I have it on this fellow, and it should be this guy here. Yeah, 
this. We're actually on the outside of the... So it seems like that's okay. This is this one. I'm going to assume it's uh, this fellow, one of these guys. Okay. That's good. And you almost have to split this, I would think. No, I think what I'll do is maybe clip this on. Let me get this over here. I'll clip it on to, should be the inner piece right here. Let's do that. I think that'll make it a little more accurate. Otherwise, we're just going to be testing the grounding. Let's see. So this one is this fellow. And we'll stick him in here, like so. That should get the center pin. And maybe, 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 maybe not. Let's try. Do we have the right one? We have the right one. Nothing, guys. Nothing. I think I have the wrong one again. Hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. You just try them all. So we suspect a broken wire, broken antenna, broken something. Okay, so that one's good. Okay, so that's good. That way we're actually testing the core, not the grounding, or the shielding. Okay, no. So I kind of suspect that all this dirt on here has affected it. Because a lot of times you'll have antennas at the outside, like the, you clean the outside, you'll get a much better signal. Um, I think this is a case where the inside has gotten filthy. I'm going to have to get these out of the way. Here, that's where you need uh, eight hands. Okay, oops, gotta be one of these. No, no. All right, let's see if we can follow them out. It's always the one there, not. Holding. I'm just kind of curious if these are bad or good. Are you bad or good? Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Fellows are bad. I do not see any kind of pinch points on here. Well, we can test the ground or the uh, the shield. Nothing. 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 these fellows here. 
Okay, so that's good. And then this fellow should be the other fellow. Okay, he's good. Now let's test the... Those have to be tested on the right cable, too. That always helps a lot, too. Put him here. Nobody? Anybody? I guess that one is good. And then the other one is... Where'd he go? Which one are you? This fellow. Well, I'm going to say this is probably okay. An okay antenna. Have the right lead. This is the lead, so this one definitely. Oh wait, my bad. I the wrong ones again. These two. They're probably going. Hey, I, you know what you're doing wrong. I know what I'm doing. Now this baby's sharp too. She's a sharp one. Good. And then this one here is the other one. Hey. That bell wants to help. Okay, so we definitely do have one bad lead. Or actually, lead. So it looks like the shielding is good. The inner core is bad on this one. So the antenna should still work, but you won't get the full, you know, 700 meg bandwidth out of this bad boy. Or it could be it sees the antenna and it's getting a crappy signal, so it's getting confused. The access point. So we do have a bad wire. So maybe there is some kinks in here. I don't feel any kinks. But that doesn't mean there are no kinks or snaps or breaks. Hard to say. So it looks like we do have a bad antenna. So there you go. That's a bad antenna. Now these are actually quite expensive. There's, like I said, there's not much into an antenna. It's basically a couple little circuit boards, a little um, traces on the circuit boards to make it kind of nice and neat uh, for the shape of the antenna. But definitely have a bad antenna and there's no indication that it has any breaks or anything like that. So anyway, that was our little diagnosis, diagnostic on this uh, Cisco antenna. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and it's too bad because these are very expensive and it's not like this uh, moved around a whole lot. But anyway, there you go. So that happens. So you guys, that's you. Have a great day.